Congratulations to Ryan Levens for having this church started. If I had known there was a death ministry here before I would have come. I saw the advertisement in the paper about the Baptist Church in Janesville and I thought, oh, I've never been there before. So I asked someone I used to work here at the deaf school, and so I asked someone that I knew who used to work there. I worked here in the way back in 1973. And so that person told me where I could find a Baptist church in Janesville. And so I went in there. I was kind of shocked at the church. It was very different. You know, everyone had on suits and ties and the Bible under their ar- Bible under their arm, and um, I didn't look that way. I just, you know, was a regular. So I felt a little bit embarrassed. You know, I sat in the way back, trying to kind of hide. You know. And the preacher was speaking, and, but he spoke fast, so it was hard for me to read his lips. And I told myself, okay, it's just my first time, and I've been in a Baptist church. It'll also be the last time I go here. And so I went out the door, and a lady came up to me, and she said, hey. And I said, oh, okay, this is different. And she said, are you Bruce? And I said, how did you know my name? Someone from her workplace at the deaf school had come to visit. And so she said, that's not our pastor, that's our assistant pastor. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, you must come again. And so she introduced us to this other young lady who became my wife. She's sitting right there, and that's how we met. And um, my my goal before you know going to this Baptist church was to help start a death ministry, but I didn't know where or how. And so this lady was praying for a deaf man who loved the Lord and wanted to be in the deaf ministry, and so God just worked that out. He knew. And he knew how to work that out. And then I met, um, I came to church again. You know, I met the head pastor. And it was much better, much easier. And he added some you know, gestures in there. And um, it was much easier for me to understand. And then I went to his church at first. And I asked my father about my change because I had been from a Lutheran background and so I asked my dad about changing to the Baptist church and so I wrote a letter and I told him I'm thinking of joining this Baptist church and I waited for a week or so and he sent me a reply by letter he said well there's many Lutheran churches around I'm sure he said try these these first and then decide. So I was like, mm, well, it's, it's good to follow my father's wisdom, you know, and to learn from my father. So I went to Lake Geneva, a Lutheran church there. 
it was so boring. I, you know, it was just routine and I didn't learn anything and it just, so when the service was done, I wanted to meet with the pastor and I came in to this just small room and people were smoking cigars and I was having a hard time breathing. It was just, and I got through this meeting and then I, you know, I was trying to meet the pastor here and I gave him my name and my address, you know, invited him to come visit me. I was living in Bellevue at the time. That's where I was. And I waited for a visit and it never happened. So another Sunday I went to the Janesville Baptist Church and I learned quite a bit there. And then after one week, the Lutheran pastor never came to visit me. So the second week I went back to Janesville to the Baptist Church. I went there again and again. And the fourth week I kept going there and I just thought, yeah, this Baptist Church, this is the one that talks about the Bible. And that's what I want. I'm hungry for the Bible. And I'm getting fed here. I'm getting fed God's word. So I decided to go ahead and join that church. And one man said that I understand that you were baptized when you were younger, you know, as a baby. That's how the Lutherans do, but that's not what the Bible teaches. And so then I had planned to be baptized Sunday night, one Sunday night after church at the Baptist Church in Janesville. I was getting ready for church and I heard a knock on my door. And someone was knocking on my door. I'm like, well, who's, who's this? So I opened the door. It was the Lutheran pastor. <laughs> like, oh my. <laughs> he finally he came. So, you know, it was like the devil was trying to prevent me from taking that step, you know? You know, he looked at what I was you know, getting ready and he said, Oh, it looks like you're going somewhere. And I said, Yes, I'm going to get baptized today. <laughs> and he said, Oh. Okay, well, I better let you go then. <laughs> and that was the Lutheran pastor. So, oh, goodness. So since that time, I've been a Baptist. <laughs> children who were born in India and one was born here. So, uh, ten, ten, children. Yeah, ten grandchildren. So, uh, miss, miss the I miss them. They're all far away from me. They're all over the place. Ohio, some are in Ohio and then we've got some in Kansas City. Um, and then uh, my I have two uh, families that live in Ohio and then we've got one in India well, still, so they're all very far. I do wish we could be closer, but yeah, oh, well. taking care of my wife's we're mother. taking care of my wife's and mother. And she and stays and here in Janesville, and she's 92 and years old, and so she needs the our main, help. Main reason we're here. And that is the main reason that we've uh, been here, to help take care of mother. my wife's mother. Parents take care of us. Our parents take care of us growing up, and then it comes time to switch roles. That's our responsibility to take care of them. And then the second day, I have some health issue, and then I have some. I've been having some health issues too, so I'm able to. Every week I make a video, and I, my son has asked me to send videos, so I do that every week. Send a vis video. I have all my lights and set up and everything in the basement. And, you know, I send a video to my son every week in India. So I'm still involved in the ministry. And once in a while, I get to preach when someone calls me to. So. Okay, again. For the ration, 16 years of the best ministry right here, and good to see you all. And it's good to be in God's house. Mm -hmm.
Thank God for Danny Norman. Jesus. Yeah. These are the words of Jesus Christ. He said, and I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will fear my church, and the gate of hell shall not against it. the holy healer. Tower white church. Okay. The church is Christ of man. Our will. White church is Christ, not man. Okay. Um two I will fail. Christ filled the church. Now, my wife, father, okay. So if you're walking on here, the father would say, I built this house for God. Lord, he's very good. Yeah. For her father, so I built the old house. You see, there's not a picture there of Christ built his church. He was on uh, the earth teaching, preparing workers that he is God. He's been up to new fathers, you know. Maybe. Teaching, teaching, teaching about God. Teaching, 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 teaching. And here, the gates of hell shall not Christ shall protect the church. And that's my wife's father who built his own house. How is he protected? Then he said, break it down, he said, to protect his house. And something needed to do it, he will do it. And the house, well, so my wife's mother will not move in my house. I understand because we're happy to go to the house. Let's throw that on the sun. 
So uh, we make sure the integral y hookup is by the algorithm <coughs> because I want to play but uh, um, her mother is deeply interested in me because uh, I didn't feel that house. Quite feel the church and you come and come and come and you, you've been fed twice and you know I like to seek attitude because you boot in it all right. Because your influence and being loyal and to your church, and loyal to your, your pastor, and you're loyal to each other. There's no no other place better than this. God mm. I hear. You want me to say here. Uh, that is where your family is. Okay? Loving each other. Right? Okay. Let's see Jesus in the text. John chapter 10, verse 28. And I give them talk about the Christian eternal life. And they Mm -hmm. The Christian shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them on my head. I trust that many of you will put your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation. Jesus promised to us once you as Jesus saved you, we never lose it. Okay. Power. No power, not even your father, or <coughs> your earthly father or mother, uh, your brother or sister, or other different uh, creatures can force you have God. Uh, not even the Satan can pop them out. God Almighty, powerful, quite attack his children. Think about the, the Christian that living in Wow. May have die, I'm sure. When they, when they die. That is a comfort to know. Now, the meaning, the meaning of the word church is a, it's a cut out. It's not, it's not a building, you know. Some of you may say, I'm going to church. <laughs> but well, that's just uh, that's a line that you use. But really, it's God church. It's God church. It's not a building, it's a body. Not the physical body. You see that picture? I mean, you see your eyes, your nose, your ear, your chin all belong to your body, you know, it's all many, okay. Each one of you has distinguished, different, one of the same body mm. of Christ, you see. Now, church, to First of all, the richer. 
God is the God seeking, seeking people to worship God. When you come to church, the main person you want to be Patrick or your, your other friend that you know in the concert every week, you can hear to see God's face. He's seeking Him. That's what you do in worship. Uh, singing? Singing? Uh, like singing mm -hmm. to each other? Good. Praying? You're part of a worship uh, with God. What's up here? John Wilkes. But the hour comes, and now it is when the true worship child worship the Father. Now, hold on. This Father. Okay. Just do the truth. Then, God will go. The father is looking. When I preach the truth in, in India, and I see an empty chair in it, Seeking him, I meet him to fast with his God. There's an empty chair over there. Come on. The person is seeking. God is seeking. Each one of you. Mm. Mm. And you come here, the face of God is the mouth. Your action, the face of God changed. You wish, you wish for God's face. Oh, yes. You come, yes. Yeah. And my children visit me, my face. When I leave, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah? It's got you. When they come together, you're a good God. God, I say about you here. You show your, your, your love for God. You show your respect and honor to Him. So important. Psalm chapter 96, verse 9. Oh, what you? The Lord in the glory of all men. Fear me. Before him, all the, all the people that live on the earth. God wants. Matthew chapter 4, verse 10, Jesus says, It is written, written by the written, Thou shalt not, not worship the Lord thy God, and in him or in shall thou serve. She to be done with passing out in the village. 40 days, 40 nights, and then Satan turned to Jesus, the Father, 
Then G to Worship the Lord thy God and him for his child thou serve. This is written, right? It's written. We find Jesus quote, quote more touching here. One chapter six, it says, Thou shall feel the Lord thy God and serve him. When Jesus spoke, he said, in every book, then he quoted from the scripture back in the old testament right here. If you love God, go to church. <laughs> Don't go fish. I know, I know you maybe some of you love to fish. I love to fish. But I go to church. Now, maybe you're not smart. Maybe some people are on you. Maybe you miss a lot of things, but don't make an excuse and not come because oh, I just, I miss so much, um, better not I come. But you, you come because God can see you. He can see you. If you go fishing, he's not going to give you a fish problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> okay. The Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. I mean, you, 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 you're completely full of love. Full of love. Yeah. And these words, uh, and these words, which touch his heart, God commands you and me. This day shall be rare in God, thy heart. My heart. Your heart full mm. with the love of God in your heart. That is something where you can answer. And between you and God, whether or not you really, really love God. No. Love God. Love him. Secondly, the first one was well, the verse for the second day is mission. Shut the wall of the church. Mission is the heartbeat of the church. First one is important, virtue. The second one is important, mission. We have to emphasize. And I believe uh, your, your church is a mission church, so how you get missionary mm -hmm. go out on the field. In Mark chapter 15, go. Please, into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. 
And I remember the man came. He probably died now. His name Lester Belt. He was it all up in the East and he came to our father college and you see saw all those uh, Indian children with big brown eyes staring up to but they couldn't communicate because the sign was uh, different. Um, uh, I didn't, at least remember he was preaching there. Then the next year, a uh, different uh, a deaf preacher came. His name was Zan Adams. Uh, he was from Georgia. He came. And then God uh, took my heart and brought to go to India. Why go to India? Jesus said, go. <laughs> Me? You? Where? Go. India, huh? And God, you different uh, people. And you speak to, to my heart. There are all great uh, preachers and minister his word. And to draw the word and preach the gospel to every preacher, every person, men and women, boys and girls. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, Jesus said, and then say, go, be different and teach our nation. Just a part when you go on um, the mission field with other parts of the world. Jesus, you've taken the gospel to go with the reach. Now, God desires, God desires that all the people will have an opportunity to hear. Why Jesus is the Lord of the church? Why Jesus is the church? It's his church, and it's on his church, and he builds it, and he's going to protect it. First of all, Jesus is the creator of the church. Plus, chapter 1, verse 52, 18. For oh, by him were all the things that are in heaven and that are in the earth. Whether it be the soul, the king, dominion, like a empire or principality, in the rulers. Or power to authority. Nothing. All things were created by him and for him. No. He said, God made you for himself. God made you. And you, for himself, not by accident. Mm. You have a purpose here. God, and he's seeking you when you, you gather, come here, 
to worship. Remember, God is seeking you to worship him. God is seeking you to have a relationship with him. God created you for himself. You are special. You are not a nobody. Well, I, 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 I am meeting myself. I was in university. I was very aware of God. I felt I was a nobody. You all are hearing. I go, I was a dummy. And I realized when I got saved, God made me for himself. God wanted me here for a purpose. God made you for himself. You're very special in God's eyes. To ever think that you are nothing, don't. You are valuable. You're precious in God's mind. Secondly, Jesus. Savior, the Savior of the church. In the chapter of Christ is Christ is the head of the church. Christ is Jesus, Savior of the body. Why Jesus is a Savior body? He came here for you and me on the cross he was buried and rose in from the dead the proof to guarantee that we have eternal life because what he did for us he just saved he saved us first of all Jesus is the creator he created you some are hearing, some are deaf. But he created you and me. And secondly, mm. he loved us so much. And we really, really we have it. To die in the cross for yours and my sin. God. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is, Bruce, you cannot compare heaven to the earth. You go to some places that's very, very beautiful, or some of the <coughs> mansion house, but you cannot never compare uh, heaven to this wonderful year. Jesus is the Savior, Christ is the head of the church. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. But God commanded him to show his love. In the world we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, you and me. Much more than he now justified by his blood, his blood. We shall be mm. from wrath to him. You must understand that God is holy. And God is no sin in him. There's no darkness in him. God is light. You see? And because of our sin, God cannot stand it. And to have relationship with him, he sent his son, Jesus Christ. 
came down here to be the savior. Yet he became the head of the church. He had many, many foes. They've been growing. And God's word has been, been spread out. More and more to fill up. He is our savior. Thirdly, Jesus is a judge. Judge of the church. Second Corinthians. For we must all for everyone may receive it done in his body. To the she has no the person. She has done. Good it would be good or bad. No. And we had the chief of Christ. It's for who are we? Our Christian. Now here we have the great white form of all who's not saved. But they both judge. God's going to judge all. One is separate from the unsaved. You don't want to be there. They are going to have. If you never ask Jesus to save you, you go ahead here the great white throne. Over here, you have the judgment seat of Christ for the believers. It's a Christian here. How you live for Jesus? You can mm -hmm. answer the different, different kinds of rewards. Rewards. They'll be given. The Bible talks for us that. Some talent. Okay? And you had a, a gift to explain in God's word. Uh, maybe you have a gift to uh, be friendly uh, other people who draw them and come to church. But the thing is, what are you doing for Jesus? There's someone out here that's been bus driver and go out and pick up people and bring them to church every Sunday for 40 years. Oh, it's popping in my mind just now. Kansas City. Mm. David and my classmate. Well, my wife and my, my classmate. I'm here. I'm in Kansas City. We do it every city and Bible uh, together. I came home in, and he called me in the car. Okay. I went down to Kansas City. The boat went home with me and pick up uh, uh, people for church. He has a, a van. A van. Said, okay. It was early in the morning, before the sun come up. <laughs> it was dark all outside. I was with We're him. Back. And go out. We stop at the house. It was dark inside the house. <laughs> it was dark. She so came back inside the van. <laughs> Behind the bedroom window. Poor <laughs> <laughs> guy, come up door. Sorry, Pastor, can I come to church? You handsome? Wow. And he was on it. All over Kansas City. I know he did that for 25 years, picking up three hours before the church starts. How 
how many of you would be willing to pick some deaf person to church? If you could drive up to almost, almost to Green Bay and bring <laughs> Bond in. Share with another preacher, John Clark uh, from Ohio. As I told him, he said, Hello, David, he does that. I wonder now that his, David's effort <laughs> is racist. So, I'll in honor, come on in, you're not going to forget it. Maybe that man didn't show up to church before David Hansen, but he can quote him. You know? No. When he finished preaching, we have like a potluck, you know, because Santa is a big place. And then, he, and then we preach, and we preach, and then you drive, drop him off at the church. Yeah. Oh, but it's a long <laughs> I don't know anyone that and so when David's gonna sign it up, he just mm. Mm. His testimony. He ought to go to start to encourage the Wow. You know what I do? Yeah. <laughs> How many did you try to bring someone to church with you? Not or maybe oh, you didn't have to. You didn't have to pick it up, but you and of course you hear God. Mm. He has something in there. I live up in the mountain. It takes three hours to do. To do. Because they had a chain, three mm. different buttons. Mm. And they get off, catch them in the bus, stop, chain the bus to church. So. Some of you will leave mm. one hour farm and it's too far. to reach it together at the church. Wow. You're going to meet some of them later. No, I'm sure. Mm. Oh. Bad. You see, you see, the church is a body of people who believe Jesus Christ as a good Creator, maybe he's the savior and he's the judge. As the church, we are to live for Jesus in Ephesians chapter one verse twelve. That we, we, should be the praise of the glory to further trust in Christ. <laughs> we came here to praise God. The church should be a witness for Jesus. In Psalm 96, verses 3, 4, 5, God is told his 
people to do what? Declare his word among unsaved. Unsaved. Yeah, it is that many that not saved. He should share. Declare his glory. His wonders. Wonders among all the people. For why? For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. <laughs> He is to be feared about all the gods. God deserves the glory. God deserves the honor that belongs to him. For all the gods of the nation are honored. But the Lord may Are you safe? I hope, I, I, I assume, all of you are safe. But perhaps some of you are not. Some of you never uh, uh, ask Jesus to save you. John chapter 36. See, any person, maybe that person is sitting here, that believes on the Son of Jesus, you have everlasting life. Okay? If you believe, if you accept Christ, you have what? Everlasting life. And he, now listen. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life. So, You don't have. You don't have the channel of life. So what's going to happen? The wrath of God abided on him. It's in Jesus, God, punished. God will punish sending to hell. God loves you. God loves you. He wants you. All of you. Are you Richard? Jesus, yes or no? Do you have a desire to be here so that you can worship Jesus? God is seeking people to worship and live for Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. And I pray that you may all in on this side. If it's someone who is here, not safe, never call upon you for salvation, Lord, speak and press that person's heart and their need for salvation. Say this sin in Jesus' name.
Oh. Man. 